Ever since the quarantine started, our main meal of the day have, has shifted to lunch. That is because I, when I get up early in the morning to start work, I do some prep and the meal ends up coming together about one o'clock and we just eat that as our main meal and then just have a snack later on um, at the end of the day when we get off work. So um, I have been making tacos and they are absolutely fantastic and they start in the slow cooker. So um, that's what we're gonna do today. We are gonna make my quarantine crispy chicken tacos. This recipe is so easy to put together um, and it's absolutely fantastic. So let's get cooking and make some tacos. So what I did this morning is I got up and I got out my crock pot and this is a small four quart crock pot. It's perfect for this because with only two of us, we're only doing a couple pieces of chicken. So it really depends on what kind of crowd you're trying to feed. But I just used two chicken breaths. So what I did was when I got up at six o'clock in the morning, I got out the crock pot. I put in two chicken breasts, boneless, skinless chicken breasts into this crock pot. I covered it with chicken broth. I put the lid on and I put the cooker on high and just left it there. And it's pretty much been on for six hours. So you want this chicken to cook really a long time, slow, and that will make it tender. Um, so when you're getting ready to eat at noon, this is perfect because it's going to be ready. So this chicken, we're gonna go ahead and take this chicken out. And it's basically just, it's already falling apart. It's basically just a poached chicken in this chicken broth. And because it's early in the morning, I didn't even season this broth. I just uh, came over here and um, put this chicken in there and let her rip, right? So I'm gonna take this strainer over the top of this Pyrex dish. You get like this, um, or you, or Small cheese, or, 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 I don't or, or, know. Or do you want me to do the pouring for you? Or just hold that right there. Okay. I just want to clear this broth up a little bit. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to pour it. Woo! Whoa, okay. <laughs> I spilt a little bit in the process. Okay, so over here, I just have a little frying pan. We're gonna be using this to keep our chicken warm. We're going to be using some of that broth as well as seasoning it. So while we prepare our um, other ingredients, our toppings, as well as our um, corn tortillas, we're gonna to crisp them up. It will be simmering in here and getting all that beautiful Southwest flavor, right? So I'm gonna take this, I got, the, look at this chicken chopping knife. This. <laughs> This is actually like a vegetable cleaver, but we're going to cut the uh, this chicken. I'll leave a link down in the description to this. This knife is cool. So we got our chicken here, and you can just pull this chicken. You can chop it however you want it to be in your tacos. I think I'm just going to chop this chicken, and it just falls completely apart. Look at that. You barely even need to touch it. It um, is so tender cooking it this way. If you need any kind of chicken for any dish, no matter what you're making, chicken salad, um, tacos, burritos, any kind of chicken you need, it's a fantastic way to cook it. So I have my chicken here, and I'm going to put it over here into this frying pan. And my chicken chopper did a fantastic job. I'm ready to get this chicken done because I'm, I'm a little hungry here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you a little hungry, boo? Maybe. <laughs> okay, so I have my chicken over here. I'm going to unlock this stove. I'm going to turn my stove down to kind of low 
like a two. And I want to get some of this broth in here so this chicken can sort of stay warm in this broth. So I'm going to use this so I don't spill it all over the place. We're just going to ladle a couple ladles in here to have a little liquidiness. Is that a word? Mm. On our chicken. I'm going to put some Southwest seasoning in here. I'm going to use this Mrs. Dash Southwest Chipotle. You can use whatever you like taco season, you can use uh, fajita seasoning, you can mix your own seasoning with chili powder, garlic powder, Mexican oregano, cumin, all that fun stuff. Um, this stuff is really good though, and it's salt free, because I, I kind of feel like there's enough salt in this already, um, because of the chicken broth. I'm going to give it a little granulated garlic. This is just season to taste, right? I might have to add a little bit more of that seasoning. Whatever amount makes you happy. <laughs> So this is just going to be over here. It's going to stay warm and we're going to cook up our uh, crispy taco shells. So let me go grab it. Okay, it's time to crisp up our tortillas. So I have a pan here that's heated. I'm going to put a high temperature oil in here. I got a little peanut oil jumping off. Peanut oil jumping off. This is my pan that Ibu got me for my birthday. We got some corn tortillas here, and we're just going to put them in here. Mm. You start to really smell the corn. Oh my gosh. As these things start to crisp up. Mm. Mm. And as we're done cooking them, we're going to go ahead yeah, and grab it, put it over here. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I'm going to turn the heat down just a wee bit. Oh yeah. Okay, it looks like our tacos are done here. And um, mm, they look fantastic. Okay, it's time to build our tacos. And I have my little taco tender here. I got these a while ago. Um, and what's great about them is they just hold your tacos just like that. So I'm just going to do two tacos here. And we got two tacos over here for Eric. Okay, so we got some of our fresh chicken. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. It comes out so tender cooking it like that in the slow cooker. Mmm. Mmm. Got a little here for Eric. For Uncle E. I'm going to go vegan today. Okay, well, then I won't make any. <laughs> we'll make yours without the meat in it. Mmm, nice and juicy. Okay, so Eric wants cheese on his. So we'll go ahead and give him a little bit of cheddar cheese, or a lot <laughs> of cheese. Um, I think we'll put a little salsa. Oh, salsa. 
A little salsa on Eric. Mmm. How about that, boo? You want guacamole or no? A little bit. Guac on mine. Because <laughs> I live for guac. Guac. Thank you. Guac. Eric wants some sour cream. Mm -hmm. Just a little. Mm. And how about some lettuce? Sure. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little scoop of our uh, green chili and cilantro rice that we made. Oh God, I had it sitting in here, so it got a little crispy on the bottom. <laughs> oh my gosh. Give a scoopy doopy over here to Uncle E. Mmm. -hmm. And I think it's time to take a taste. Uh -huh. Cheers, cooks. My little <laughs> leftover lemonade. So, lunchtime, quarantine, chicken tacos. We made the chicken in the uh, slow cooker. It comes out so tender and juicy. It's a fantastic way to cook it. Because I was just trying to get stuff going this morning, I threw it in there with some chicken broth and we ended up chopping it and seizing it in a skillet. We made this chili, uh, green chili and cilantro rice. I'll put a link down in the description and up here. Um, this is fantastic. We made it in the Instant Pot. And let me give it a taste. It's so good. It is so good. It's my home version of the rice you would get at Chipotle, but I add green chilies in there. It has Eric's homegrown Anaheim chilies. Uh, Farmer Ebu. Farmer Ebu, that's right. So, time for a taco. Mm -hmm. I overstuffed it. Mmm. It's fantastic. Um, the corn it has a really great corn flavor that adds to the taco. Wow, these are amazing. I mean, the chicken is so tender. Mmm. Wow. That's quarantine lunch right there. You want to taste yours, Bill? Maybe. Yum yum. Bottoms up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Taco Bell ain't got nothing on this. That was kind of food. Mm -hmm. Serious comfort food. Well, cooks, I want to go and eat the rest of this. So, if you like this video, please subscribe below. And don't forget to hit the bell. Um, if you're interested in joining us on our journey to become better cooks. Also, you can catch me on my website. You want this recipe, come out to my website, amylearnstocook.com. Links will be down in the description. Also on social media, come on over to my Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash amylearnstocook. You can catch me on Pinterest and Twitter at amylearnstocook and uh, on Instagram at cooking with Amy. Now, I got an appointment with some tacos. Mm -hmm.